This is Uncle Momo's Music Reaction Channel, where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And today we are going over to Japan and we are checking out the first take and an artist called Yena Smiley. Now I believe this is a Japanese version. Now I'm going to read out what's in the description page just to get a little bit more insight of what is this performance about and who is this particular artist so it says episode 367 welcomes jenna um the gen z pop icon formerly known as izone okay who is pre presently embarking on her solo career she will perform smiley a japanese version the song buzzing on tiktok um with its act um addictive choreography enjoy this special one-shot performance filled with positive energies and smiles okay conveying hope that you will always find a way to navigate any situations with a bright smile i like that because i'm always smiling <laughs> i am always smiling so that is really nice um it says japanese version so is this is she from the uh, uh, k-pop um element let me know about that like i said i don't know anything about yena but Smiley, I love smiling. She's smiling, I think, I hope. <laughs> I don't know what type of song this will be, as in, um, is it, well, it says Gen Pop. So I, I presume it's going to be pop. But if it's a solo career, surely you want to step out of your comfort zone and do something different from what the, um, your group was doing. I don't know. I won't know until I press the play button. So without further ado, you what we're here for <laughs> great fur cabs and a damn good video audio music can you dig it <laughs> how old is she they look really young no doubt she might be in her early oh. 30s being that she's been in a... Yena des. hi she doesn't look early 30, she looks literally like she's a teenager. Like 19, 20, 22. She's described to her first take on her phone. It's unbelievable that you've got so much amazing artists, established artists. Yeah. But they still feel nervous performing on the first take. Because you haven't got the comfort of the studio to say, oh, stop, we should record this, do that again. You've literally got to do it on your first take. No messing Right. You know why I stopped it? Because straight away, in my mind, is Hey, Mickey, you're so fun, you're so fun, you blow my mind Hey, Mickey, hey, Mickey, hey, Mickey, you're so fun, you're so fun, you blow my mind Hey, Mickey, you know that song? Hey, Mickey, you're so fun It's the song back in the late 80s, I want to say early 90s But that's what it reminds me It's in that kind of pocket hole Now, maybe you got, you know, the, the, uh, the, the younger generations You would have known that song um, but check it out. It's called Mickey or Hey Mickey. Um, I can't remember who sung the song, but it was a, a a girl group, I believe, that sung the song. And I can't remember if it's in the 80s genre or the late 80s or the 90s. But check it out. It's called Hey Mickey. And you tell me how similar the music is um, to this. I'm going to go back just a little bit to about, say, here. <laughs> I love a boat. I'm also hearing Taylor Swift's song. To be fair, 
Is this the normal style was coming from Japan? That tone, that vocal tone? Now that kind of tone up there, I've heard of quite a few Japanese female artists with that same tone. Is those contacts he's got? This is a fun, fun song. If you want to get on with work, you put this on there. You get, you get your job done much quicker. Love the change. Pop R and B. The vocals are very adaptable, isn't it? Love that style as well. Hey, I'm gonna make you This song requires you to move. It doesn't require you to stand still and not move up in. I love it. <laughs> well done. Well done. So that was Yen out with Smiley, Japanese version. What other version is there? Let me know. Is this a K-pop song? That's one of my first questions. She's got these vocals which, like I said, I've heard it in many uh, female artists, um, either from Japan or Korea, that high tone vocal. Over in the Western world, um, there's a fashion that carries on every, like I don't know, seven years. You've got this... Uh, fashion way of singing right about now is this jazz reggaeton vibe that everybody's doing right now and um, every female is doing it um, and in some cases some male artists are doing it as well um, i don't know how as long it's going to last but it's that era of that kind of style of way of singing it's that i didn't even realize but there is even though there is unique artists out there where you can tell that is that artist because it's separated from the vocals is separated from what is the norm what everybody's following You've got artists with that similar tone, that similar structure. Um, even though they're, um, the songs are different, the words are different, but there's a fashion, just like clothes. You know, there's an era of fashion where, you know, right back now, everybody's wearing the rip-up jeans. I mean, that's slowly coming to an end, but that was strong. Now, how long has that been carrying on now, ripped-up jeans? For a good least four or five years now. So I believe that fashion is coming to the end. And it's just like music as well, or the way how pe people singing. Is there certain style of fashion um, that moves in a massive wave? So I'm asking you, is this one of these massive waves that's happening over in the K-pop and the J-pop industry? That tone of voice with the female artist. It's lovely. I like it. Secondly, the song itself reminded me of Hey Mickey. Which is nice because that was a very strong in the 80s, 90s era. I believe it went to number one, I believe. Now, this song, uh, you know, it's a song buzzing on TikTok. I'm sure that it would do absolutely crazy good. Um, look, this is only premiered about 17 hours ago and it's already gathered just over half a million views. So this, I know this will do really, really well. Has Yena got her own channel or do i have to go into the girl group channel to check them out let me know about that where has she performed on the teeny desk let me know about that i will be incidentally checking out more on the teeny desk as well as the first take i can't go away from it it's so many amazing artists that i didn't even know or would have known they existed until i come onto this channel i found v on this channel i didn't even know v existed even though he's from the bts that's how like you know, I'm so distant and I'm trying my best to 
uh, to get closer and closer and looking at so many artists. There are so many artists. There really is brilliant artists as well um, that I know that I'm going to be forever diving into um, music from Japan and certainly from Korea as well, the J-pop and the K-pop and any other K um, pop with a letter alphabet in, in the beginning of it. I'm here to stay. <laughs> I hope you like my reactions. If you do, please share um, and put it onto various social media platforms and don't forget to send me comments because I love to read your comments and reply back to them. Until next time, I salute you. Boom. Yeah, uh, hey, I'm gonna make you smile, smile, smile.